would you be willing to open up your wallet and give Felix from Mexico, he's an illegal immigrant, would you be willing to give him $20? I'm poor. We're here in Austin, Texas for the Lights for Liberty event where people are losing their absolute marbles at the thought of a closed and safe border with Mexico. Let's go see if they are willing to take in an illegal immigrant we have with us today. Would you guys be willing to take in a, a asylum seeker, as you called them, to your home and foster them and take care of them so that if government doesn't have to mistreat them? Well, I think that's a band-aid approach, but yes, if we were involved with an organization that was what needed place, temporary placements for asylum seekers, that would be something we Well, my organization is Liberty Hangout, and I have an asylum seeker right here. Are you willing to give him your house keys so he can stay with you? The reason we can't do it right now is we are literally moving. Justin here has about 10 children, and he's an illegal immigrant. Would you be willing to take him in and his 10 children? I would, uh, no, not 10 children, but I would be, I'd be willing to, um, to discuss it, I certainly would. Can he have the keys to your house? He'll only take five kids. How about only, he'll only take five of his 10 children. Can he come stay with you? Um, we talk about it, probably not five, but I probably have room well, for Well, what do we do with the other five or other, I other eight? I think that people should pitch in, right? Um, I think that we have, look. If so we you want to separate the kids from their dad? Listen. Are you willing to open up your wallet and give this illegal immigrant, Justin, right here, about 10 or $20? No, I don't. because He's illegal. I, and I have, my child has friends that are uh, dreamers. And He's a dreamer. A, a dreamer, absolutely. And are, you, are you willing to give him like 20 bucks right now? You know, um, no, I'm not. He doesn't need $20. Yes, he does. He's illegal. Illegal doesn't mean you need money. Undoc good point, good point. If you're illegal, that doesn't mean you need my money. It doesn't mean you need free health care. It doesn't mean you need to be funded by taxpayer dollars. That's not what I said. I'm really. Don't touch my Don't twist my words. <laughs> Whoa, I'm getting wet. <laughs> okay, so we have a change of an illegal. So you're illegal, right? Illegal, yeah. Where are you from? I don't know yet. I'm trying to figure it out. Let's say Mexico. Okay, Mexico. Okay, perfect. Keep that up. Let's go. Let's go see if anybody will take. What's your What's your illegal name? Felix. Okay, I like it. Let's go see if anyone will take in Felix. Would you be willing to give financial assistance? I'm given money. So. Well, we have Felix here. He's an illegal immigrant from Mexico. We were wondering if you could support him financially or giving him the keys to your house to maybe house him and help him because he's been in these awful camps, awful detention centers. Are you willing to help him out right now? And I don't have cash. So that wouldn't Do you take Venmo? Seven children have died in the Venmo either. I don't know what that is. Check? No. Nope. Credit card? No. Nope. We could write down your credit card information. <laughs> no, I, I do feel for you, but the way my financial situation is, I'm unable to help anyone. Would you be willing to take him in with you? Uh, I have to ask my husband, but I say yes. And I think Well, you're the woman of the house, right? Let's make a decision right now. Can he go home with you? I can't make a decision right now. I have to ask my husband too. Can you call him right now? No. You can't call him to see if this illegal immigrant from Mexico could live with you? Are you really a... No. Mexico, Tijuana. Are you illegal? Tijuana. Are you illegal? I, I, across yes, the border, you know. ICE is after me right now. You? Sanctuary, sanctuary. For real? Sanctuary. I don't believe he's for real. Why? Because he's not answering my questions. Si. See. No, no speak English. Yes, you do. I heard you speaking before. No hablo inglés. <laughs> Can he have the keys to your house? No. I thought you wanted to help illegals because haven't you been in a concentration camp this whole time? Yes. In Tijuana. It's bad stuff going on down there. 
together? I still have, uh, you know, think about Infowars coming here and changing people's... Infowars is yeah, here? Yeah, like Infowars always comes to these things and they interview people and they change what people say. How, so, why would they do Infowars? Shame yeah, on them. Shame on them. Shame on Infowars and Infowarsstore.com. How dare they? It, which I'm suspecting you might be part of. Why would I be part of? I'm part of, it literally says Liberty Hangout. It doesn't say Infowars. All right. F up. That's so interesting. That's so cool. Oh, Black Lives Matter. Where's Felix? We have a black illegal immigrant that needs a home to stay in. My face, please leave. My body, my choice. Would any of you ladies take in a black illegal immigrant that's here with us today that needs a home? No, I thought Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter, but they won't take in my black illegal immigrant friend Felix from Mexico. I guess they don't matter that much. Would you guys be willing to take in a black illegal immigrant? Would you be willing to give him your keys? I'd be willing to let him into my house. Keys, like he needs to go right now. I don't have enough copies. Enough copies? Of, well, he'll be there when you get there. Yeah, if I'm so he'll let you right in. Don't you trust him? Do you not trust the illegal immigrant? No, I do. So, like I said, all right, Will, right Felix, <laughs> she wants to give you her keys because she trusts you enough to let you into her home. Yeah, all right, go ahead. I don't have a mommy. My roommate has them. <laughs> Are you protecting her from what? The threat of illegal immigrants in this country that killed 4,000 Americans last year? What about the 200,000 violent crimes that were committed by illegal aliens? Are you protecting her from those? Did you know that illegal immigrants are five times likely to commit a violent crime in this country than a natural born citizen? Did you know that? Five times as likely to commit a crime than a natural born citizen. Look it up, Google it right now. She's Googling it. We're gonna come back to her when we verify that that's the truth. Have you ever seen a clown show have a rock and roll band before? First thing, first time for everything. They're going pretty good. Very jokey. She's walking around like a clown, doing tricks. Looks like she's juggling. What do you guys think about the rock show? You like it? It's good. It sounds good. Good. All right, we're rocking out. What are we rocking out for? Uh, for immigrants. Okay. Good, we're rocking out for immigrants. This is Felix. He's from Mexico. He needs a place to stay. He's illegal. Yeah. They're about to round him up and put him in these camps. Will you take him home with you and save him? I'm sorry, I can't do that. But we're rocking out for immigrants. Can we rock out for Felix? Ah, uh, yeah, sorry, I can't do that. Uh, what about you? That's a weird question. Would you take him home? I don't know this man. I'm sorry? That's a weird question. Well, we're bringing all of them into our country. Actually, I, I don't want to. Would you take home Felix so he I doesn't? I got a couch. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Felix. <laughs> All right, we found a couch for Felix. Can he have the keys to your house? I don't even have the keys to my house. Who has the keys to your house? It's like one of the codes. All right, what's the code? Uh, eight one two zero. Would you be willing to take in? No, I can't. I have no room. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess that's a good reason. But you contribute monetary. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Would you be willing to open up your wallet? and give Felix from Mexico, he's an illegal immigrant, would you be willing to give him $20? I'm poor. What but you donate. Do you, understand? you said you had no room in your house, not that you were poor. Yeah, I donate to the to places that I know are doing good work and taking care of Felix does good work, Liberty Hangout does good work, can you give him $20? I need to get out of my face now. You won't give this illegal immigrant $20? I don't have $20 to give him. I'm Do you give poor. it to the local? Get out of my face. Are you poor because they keep taxing you? I bet she's poor because they keep taxing the hell out of people to pay for immigrants' health care, to pay for their housing, to pay for all these things going on in the detention centers, and most importantly, their education, like in New York City, where they want to give free education to all the illegals. She's getting the hand signals from the, uh, the lady over there. No. 
No. Isn't it like cult this behavior? Lady, this lady over here, she said she she said that we were ignorant, and then I said only liberals are ignorant. She's and hiding she, her face, but we already her. we already have her face on camera she, well, she's committing battery. You. She's following you. I you know. have a fan club. Oh. You think she's a fan of Brain Force? She's a fan of you. <laughs> you don't have to do history with a history degree. A history degree teaches me that when we don't when we don't learn from our mistakes, when we have people in power who support things like concentration camps, that's all going to get us back there. Concentration camps. Yeah. That's what's happening. Yeah. Are there concentration camps at the border? I haven't seen any. I've been to the detention center. I was, I was held at Tijuana, but it's not a concentration camp. No, there's not no concentration camp. Were you held here in Texas? Were you held in Arizona? So history major, we have a we have a history major. So you know about the Holocaust, you know about World War II, and you really believe there's concentration camps. I'm done with this. Where did you get that degree? You got to get your money back. I, I think you're asking us some loaded questions that we're really. Well, he's an asylum seeker, right? I need place to live. He needs a place to live. Yeah. Well, no, we can't do it right now. But you said that you could. I said that if there was an organization. Liberty Hangout. Well, I don't know who you well, are. And My it. name's Caitlin. OK, but we'd have to check it out and look into so it. So you would have to vet this guy, right? You'd have to vet him before letting him into your house. I, whether he was an asylum seeker or an American citizen, I would vet anybody yeah, exactly. or check Well, that's what Trump something. is doing at our border. That's what the ICE agents are for. That's what the detention centers are for, for us to vet people coming into our country. Absolutely. Let me ask you this, because I do speak English. Yes. You open the doors for illegals. Will you open up the doors for a homeless that's living in LA and in St. Louis and in Chicago? People that are in America right now that need assistance. Would you open your doors to them too? Or just illegals? I mean, that's a good question, right? That's a valid question. Would you agree? How much do you love Brain Force and Turbo Force? I am going to get him a free. I want some brain force. You want some brain force? Yeah, give me some brain force. That way he can be a schizophrenic loon. Brain force. Brain force. Brain force. Yeah, brain force. yeah it's You're great. It just worms All you right. Brain Woo! Force. Yeah. We just found I'm a brain right. force I, fan. I, I Little did you guys know, brain force from InfoWarsStore.com funds this operation. InfoWars supplements make your testicles huge.